Libras. Welcome to your reading for August 2022. I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. This is going to be a love-based reading, although other messages could pop out into this reading. I will let you know. We're first going to start off with these this angel deck right here, but before we begin, um, I just want to give a quick disclaimer for those that are new to my channel or just a reminder to all that this reading may or may not resonate. If it does, that's awesome. If it doesn't, that just means it wasn't the reading for you and you can feel free to check out your moon rising or Venus signs alongside with my past or future videos. Cross watchers, this is a safe place for you guys as well. So just keep that in mind while watching. The worlds could be vice versa. Okay, let's begin. Let's see what's going on for you, Libra, and the person you are currently connected with at this moment. What's going on for Libra and the person that they are connected to at this moment? Okay, so we have give your relationship a chance and express your love. Work on your partnership and go ahead and make the romantic gesture. If there's anything that you're holding back at this time, Libra, I feel that now is the time to take action. I do, maybe for some, you haven't fully given this a shot, a true shot, maybe because of a fear of a past betrayal. Maybe there's some sort of fear-based thoughts going on. But I'm seeing that this is saying to give it a true shot because maybe there is something more than what meets the eye. Maybe there's somebody that you kind of haven't fully given a, sh a chance because maybe you're, there's, like I said, there could be fear-based thoughts. There could be, um, maybe you just weren't feeling it at the first date, but there's something that's telling you to go back to this person. There's something that's telling you to give this another person, uh, this person another shot or another chance. And, but that's obviously this part may or may not resonate with people. So just keep that in mind. But I definitely see that there's, I see a Libra out there definitely getting ready to express their love or in their interest. I see that somebody could be doing this to you as well, Libra. Exciting stuff. Okay. So now let's get into the tarot for you guys. Let's see what the tarot is saying. I'm also seeing that somebody could be born on the 15th. I'm seeing October 15th. I'm also seeing July or something could have happened in July between you two, something big, but I'm also seeing that you, this kind of person could be born in July. It could be a Cancer or a Leo. So let's see how your thoughts are on this person, Libra. What are Libra's thoughts? The person they're connected to. Okay. Seven Pentacles and the Magician so far. Okay. And we have the Six of Pentacles, and the Sun. Wow, Libra, let me just say you're going through some sort of transformation because I do see the Magician, which is all to me about new beginnings. The Magician can become, it can be a bit of a negative card, but I do feel like maybe you were, but I'm also seeing it as a positive card as well in this instance. I've seen that you're releasing anything that um, has been, has it had your best interest, Libra? There could have been a past person or somebody from the past that betrayed your trust or they would, could have been a bit manipulative or possessive over you. And maybe you were giving a lot of your energy to this and you were done giving 100% and receiving 50% back. I do feel like there is somebody that wants to do um, be your equal part, have an equal partnership with you. They want to give you 50% and they want to receive 50% back is what I'm seeing here. But I do see somebody who's wanting um, equal give and take here. There's, this is, um, whoever this person is, they want balance. They want, they feel that they can manifest the situation with you. But I'm also seeing Libra, that you are open to manifesting this connection with this person. You're open to, I feel that you have all the tools and um, you have um, I feel like everything is aligned for you in order to make this relationship or this connection work. I do say that you guys could be a bit frustrated with maybe your love life at this time. Maybe you've been frustrated and you've been asking yourself, like, why do I keep getting these situations? Why do people, why, why do, it's like, I feel that your intuition is just so on point, Libra, um, with the people that you've been dating. So I feel like you're getting frustrated with, like, dating people that aren't giving you enough, that keep, like, you keep giving your whole entire heart to these people, Libra, and these people just aren't, they're not worthy of the love that you give because you just give so much and they're not giving you enough back is what I'm seeing here. But I feel that those frustrations are going to come to an end because we have the sun here. This could be a Leo for some. I'm seeing that somebody could be out sun, like sunbathing, or somebody could be getting a, a spray tan. That's what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing somebody, or it could be anything with beauty. So I'm seeing maybe you're getting a massage or you're getting your nails done. I'm seeing somebody is doing something with their outer beauty, but it could also be inner beauty as well. Maybe somebody is going to therapy, counseling. 
So it's just, I'm hearing beauty in general. It could be inner or outer beauty, but I do see somebody is um, doing something to nourish, nourish that. I see that this person, whoever this is, makes you very happy. You feel very, you feel that you can trust this person. Like whoever this um, current energy is, you feel that you can, like you, maybe you've opened up to this person recently and you just feel like you can trust this person. This person makes you feel very happy. They make you feel very desired is what I'm seeing. And that's like all you've wanted from past relationships, Libra. You just wanted to feel desired by whoever you with. You wanted to feel cared for and that somebody was going to have your back and also show you that they care through their actions. I'm seeing that Libra, you could be, um, your love language could be acts of service or quality time. You just really want somebody that can show you through the little things. Um, just the little things mean so much to you, Libra. It just shows that you just feel that this person cares about you and that they want to take care of you. They want to um, show you that they care through their actions. And that's really what all you've wanted, Libra, because I feel like you're tired of dealing with people that have been taking away your energy and um, or toxic, negative people, you know, in the past that you're just like, you're ready for this new beginning with whoever this is. OK, let's see what some of their thoughts are now. What's their thoughts on Libra? Somebody's taking a new yoga class or someone started taking a new class recently. Someone's about to go back to school. Maybe you're just starting school after a while. Maybe it's been a few years since you've been to school or it's been like, I'm hearing for someone it could have been 10 years since you've been to school and you're getting back into it. Good for you, Libra. Okay. So we have a star and the moon. Interesting combination here. Okay, let's pull one more. Let's go to the Ten of Pentacles. Let's see what else is going on, Libra. Okay, we have the Seven of Swords. Wow. This people, I feel like this person's had a very, um, very similar past to you, Libra. Is what I'm saying. I feel this person has felt betrayed in their past. Actually, they could have, before meeting you, went through a recent betrayal with somebody else. There's somebody that they, um, it kind of, like they were a very trusting person. I feel like they really trusted the people that they were around or that they um, invested their heart into. But I feel like the person they were with in the past definitely betrayed that trust and made them feel a little bit uneasy when trusting people. I do feel like over time, this person um, with you, they feel like they can trust you or they feel like they're building that trust back up. But I definitely see there was some sort of betrayal in their past life or pat, um, in the past. The star and the moon and the Ten of Pentacles. So the star, this could be an Aquarius. Um, moon could be a Pisces for some. I'm seeing it could be Aquarius sun, Pisces moon, or Pisces Venus, or vice versa. We also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. I keep hearing Virgo, like Virgo is like loud and clear. Somebody is wanting to take you to the movies, so I'm seeing you here. <laughs> I feel somebody could have asked you recently to go to the movies or asked you to, uh, maybe there's a new premiere of a, a new movie that you've been wanting to see. I'm seeing somebody asking you to go to the movies or on this like very cute date. Uh, I see that somebody likes to dress up. Somebody is really into fashion, um, has a lot of, um, I'm seeing somebody going through their clothes as well. Like maybe it could be you or this person has too many clothes. And so you're kind of going through your clothes, seeing like what you want to give away for some. But definitely, okay, those are just a few messages that popped out to this. But definitely with the star being here and the moon, I do feel like this person, um, they could be a bit of a private person or maybe they're holding some things back from you. They, with the moon being here, that means like there's secrets that haven't come out into the open or there's just something that hasn't come out into the open. I don't feel like this person's fully opened up to you yet, Libra. I feel like they are wanting to because you are literally everything they've been looking for in a person. You have all the amazing qualities that they look for in a person. They just feel that deep connection with you. They feel very, an intuitive connection with you with the star and the moon being here. This person could be a bit psychic as well. Maybe they do, they read tarot themselves or you read tar tarot, but I'm definitely seeing here somebody could have psychic abilities with the moon popping out. This person's a very dreamy person. They have big dreams for themselves and for you. They, I, I see this person could be wanting to start a family as well with the Ten of Pentacles being here. This person sees 
Um, maybe their dream is to start a family or that could be one of the part of their dreams is to start a family or to get married and have that, that family life. Maybe they're really close to their family. It could be a very family oriented person. This person say, definitely sees you in that picture. They Maybe you've recently met their family or you're about to meet their family. And so they really ex are excited about that. I do feel like their family really likes you. Um, if they've met you, I feel I'm sensing here that they really do like you and they think that you're a good fit for them, for this person. <laughs> um, they, I see that, um, but family is a huge part of this person's life. There's a spiritual guide here. The, um, they have a spiritual guide that's very, um, very present in this reading. Like, and it could actually be somebody they were really close to um, at one point when they were a kid. I feel that animals are really important here in this um, relationship. I'm seeing that animals um, play a significant part here. We have a horse here. We also have, I think those are wolves, and a crab. Um, cancer energy here for sure. I'm seeing that... I'm definitely seeing that animals play a big part in this relationship. Maybe you guys work in, a, in an environment where there's animals. Uh, maybe in a vet or... I'm seeing that animals play a big role in this relationship for some reason. I don't know why. Interesting. I'm seeing somebody asking for help. Maybe this person's been praying to meet somebody like you, Libra. So this person's been praying to have someone like you in their life because they also have been through tough times with the Seven of Swords. They've been through so much betrayal. That's what I'm seeing here. And they just want to be with the person they're meant to be with. And I do feel like you guys have come into each other's lives for a reason. There's a reason that you guys are in each other's lives and that you entered each other's lives. And maybe you're at that time where you're exploring that connection now. You're exploring the connection like, why you feel so comfortable with this person. What makes you feel this way? You could have possibly known this person in a past life. Or this could be somebody maybe you even met during childhood that you kind of forgot. I'm seeing somebody could live in a small town as well, or they live or raised in a small town. Doesn't have to be for all, of course. Clarifying their end, we have the Seven of Wands. They're trying to be strong. They're trying to be strong um, in a time where they don't feel capable of being strong there's something they're definitely going through at this time that makes them feel a bit uneasy or confused and they are oh yeah the two of swords coming out here they feel like a confusion um of how to handle a situation they want to um maybe the situation with you maybe there's a lot they're holding back like there's a part of this person that feels scared to enter into this connection because of the fear that they do have um because of their past Maybe there's something they're going through at this time that they're getting ready to open up to you about and they are scared about it. They're scared to open up to you because they don't know how you're going to respond. They don't know how you're going to react to this message or this huge life situation that they are going through at the time. But I do see that they are a fighter. They do want to um, proceed. They do want to persevere and they want to be able to make this work with you because you are everything they've been wanting and wishing in a person. They just feel so excited to be around you. They feel so happy around your, around you. You guys have so much fun. I'm also seeing like this childlike energy coming out of both of you. Like you guys could just be so silly and funny with each other, but I'm also seeing that you could have very serious conversations as well. But a lot of like, a lot of funniness, a lot of silliness, a lot of um, joking is what I'm seeing here, but I just feel like it's such a light hearted energy. And I feel like there could be a deep conversation coming soon because I feel like this person, want, this person wants to open up to you about something they've been holding back with this moon here. They want to open up to you. They want to be honest with you, maybe about their past, or maybe something they're going through at this time. That's, maybe there's something holding them back from really um, moving this to the next step. And maybe it's because they want to have this conversation with you first, or maybe they want to see where your head's at. Maybe they're unsure of where, how, where you stand. And they want to make sure, you know, everything's aligned. Everything, you know, makes sense here in this connection. Wow, Libra. Okay, let me just, I'm going to um, actually pull some possible initials, first or last initials of this person's name or your name. 
Um, let me know if this part resonates. I'd be really curious to see if this resonates. I'm um, also, if any names pop out, I will let you know. Oh, so we, the first letter we have is D. So this person's first or last name could be a start with D. I'm hearing Dawn. I'm also hearing um, Deanne. Um, those are the only names I'm hearing right now, but let me see what else. Other letters are popping out here. Okay, we have T. I'm hearing Trisha. I'm hearing Teresa. Yeah, those are the only names that are popping out right now, but it doesn't mean that that doesn't resonate. And I'm just gonna pull one more letter. Oh my gosh, I see an X here. I'm here, this could be Xavier. Xavier? I don't know if I've said that right. <laughs> Let me know. Okay guys, so those are the letters that popped out. That doesn't, obviously the part doesn't resonate. That doesn't mean the reading didn't resonate. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope that um, you liked this reading. If you liked it, you can feel free to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and also feel free to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed my reading. I hope to see you guys next time. I missed you guys. Bye, Libra. <laughs>